Hey guys, welcome back. This is Adi. Um, let's uh, continue from our previous video with the articles. So let's delete this and let's have a look at our Photoshop document. Now, the first thing you'll notice is this container for all of the articles. Uh, we'll separate things like this. This right here will be an article. Uh, this bit will be an HR, again, article, and so on and so on. This whole thing will be a div, which will be put inside um, the span 9. And the reason for that is it has a border. Now, if we apply this styling to the span 9 div, it's going to mess things up because span 9 has a fixed width. By adding that stroke, you're basically adding a plus 2 pixels to, to that width, and that's not going to work very well with the rest of the elements in the layout. So to fix that, we'll do something like this. Div with a class of article container or articles. I think I'll do this div class articles. Okay, that will contain an article. Okay, article is an uh, HTML5 element, which you know is used for blog posts or any type of content that can be syndicated. So it's good to keep that in mind. You can also use the article tag for comments, for example, because they can be sent to, to an RSS feed. Okay, article and each blog posting will have the following structure. This will be the header and this will be the content with an image right here and the actual content of the article. So we're going to say header. And the header will start with this, the comments. And we'll say anchor tag with a class of article meta comments. We'll do 10. Okay, we'll continue with the categories. So we'll do a paragraph with a class of article meta categories, which will contain a link. Okay, we'll say category here. Next up is the actual title of the posting. So it's going to be an H1 with an anchor tag. Let's do post HTML, we'll link it. Let's do, this is the article title. Okay, and the next one is the date and author. So we'll say paragraph. Let's give this a class of article meta extra. And we'll do like September 20th, 12 and also by an anchor tag and the author. Okay, perfect. So we are complete. We are done with the header. Now you might ask yourself, why did I put the comments first? Well, this one will be floated to the right so we can display it here. If you if we're putting this down here, it's not going to show up. It's just some weird behavior uh, of the floats. If you want something floated to the right and you know aligned with the other elements uh, to the top, then you got to put it on the top in the markup. So that's something you need to remember. Okay. So header done, we'll do a figure 
for the image, yes? Figure with a class of article preview image. It will contain a link with an image. Okay, image, source. Mm, let's see. I think I'll just. Uh, I think I'll just link to some of the images instead of using a demo folder like we did here. Um, I'll use a Lorem Pixel image. So Lorem Pixel 468 by 60. It's just a replacing image. And I'll do the same for the articles. So source Lorem Pixel. Um, Let's see our image here. I think it was 210. Yeah, 210. So 210 by 210. Alt will be preview image. Okay. Now this will be floated to the left. So now we just have to add a paragraph with some content and then a paragraph with a link that says read more. Okay. And that's the structure for one article. So let's see, the top ad is not showing. Okay, now it's showing. All right, so let's see. Uh, this comments category article title. This is the um, the date, preview image, content, and read more link. Okay, uh, the next item we'll uh, we'll make is. is this, the quote post. And this has mm, a bit of a different structure. Let's go ahead and copy the article. I'm just gonna paste it here. And don't forget to add the separating line between the articles. So in my case, it's gonna be an HR with a special class. It's gonna be fancy HR, if it's what I like to call it. Okay, now for uh, for the quote format, we don't need the actual title. It's not going to be displayed. Yes. Also, we don't need the comments. Uh, actually, instead of comments, you can see that we have a different icon. Now this will also be floated to the right. So instead of href, instead of anchor tag, we'll do a span with a class of post format, um, sorry, quote, post format quote. Okay, and we're gonna close the span, no content whatsoever. Okay, we'll keep the categories and we'll keep the article meta extra. Okay, so that's it for the header. We don't have a preview image. And instead of the this content, we'll do this. Div with a class of quote container. I'm using a, a different class because I wanna make it easy for us to style it. So for, for the actual quote, we'll use the very uh, basic markup, like block quote, yeah? And we'll do, this is a very simple quote. And then we'll do the site tag, like this. Okay. 
Next will be the link type post. So we'll copy this along with the separator. Okay, and this will be post format URL. Mm, it's pretty much the same here. We'll keep the categories, we'll keep the article meta extra. We'll change this to URL container. And let's have a look. We have a big description, which can be uh, just a simple paragraph and then a link. So hmm, let's see, paragraph. Instead of site, we'll use span, which also is wrapped in an anchor tag. And let's do something like something like this. quote and link yes okay this is uh, coming along really nice next up we have the navigation for the posts so I'm gonna do again HR with a class of fancy HR and at the very bottom I'll do a div with a class of article articles nav mm -hmm. and we'll do two paragraphs and we'll do articles nav oops nav prev times two An article nav next okay now this will say older posts and of course newer posts now these two elements will be floated one to the left one to the right so we'll add a class of clear fix to the parent element uh, Clearfix is a really useful class. It kind of uh, self-clears its um, floated children. So we don't have to worry about, um, you know, floated elements breaking the layout. Just add the class of Clearfix to, um, to the parent element. And when we get to the CSS videos, we'll have a look at it and see what it looks like. All right, guys, um, let's have a look at the finished result so far. Older posts, newer posts. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, next up is the sidebar.